Hello and welcome Virgo to your reading for March 2020. Welcome to Deja Vu Divine Guidance and we're going to jump right into it, okay? So when I did the meditation, um, I just got a bunch of words, okay? <clears throat> so first thing I got was groundbreaking and foundation and root chakra, um, all of those things speak to foundations. Um, some of you may be building a house, possibly. Um, some of you are establishing a firm foundation for your family at this time. Uh, and some of you need to work on your root chakra. Um, keywords are I have, okay? Um, some other words that came to me were solitude and peace, comfort, and then I got swift movement, uh, rest and balance, and then I heard strike while the iron is hot, go. And I actually saw, you know, some hot iron, um, a welder working with some hot iron, had actually had a visual for that one, so, uh, there's that. And then I heard, a uh, common sense approach and using what you already have, okay? So that's what I got in the meditation. Uh, if that resonates with you at all, please tell me how in the comments, okay? Uh, so the first card, um, well, actually, I drew a card from the Hidden Worlds Oracle um, for your environment, and it's the Pathway. Got the Pathway card. So it sounds like uh, some of you Virgos may be finding your path, finding what it is that you're passionate about, um, finding what you want to do with the rest of your life. Uh, but it says direction, purpose, and change. So some of you are finding your purpose at this time, um, which is awesome. And then the card that's right up under that is the Mother Awakens, uh, Compassion, nurture and guidance uh so either you're receiving some guidance uh from someone or from spirit or you are giving uh someone guidance so and that's also a great thing uh, but you have found your purpose okay this is in your environment all right and then the first card we uh drew for your uh actually read jump cards so they whatever cards jump out those are the ones i read okay um, unless spirit tells me, okay, draw, you know, draw from the top or whatever, whatever I'm led to do at the time. But anyway, so the first card we got for you was truth. This card to me also talks about balance. Okay. Um, and so actually three cards flew out at the same time. So we had the truth card. Uh, we had Deception and Envy, and we had the Stand Your Ground card. So what I'm seeing here is that some of you were dealing with somebody who was very um, deceitful. You know, a lie don't care who tell it, okay? Have you ever heard that saying? A lie don't care who tell it, okay? Somebody was lying to you, and you saw right through it, okay? This person is envious of you. For whatever reason, this could have even been, been um, for some of you, this could have been a past lover. Um, um, this could have been a co-worker. Um, I've, I've dealt with that once at work. That's an unfortunate thing to have to deal with in any uh, situation, but it happens, you know. Um, things like this happens um, for all of us to grow, you know, so... Take what you will from it, um, but this is in your past uh, position, so it is in the past. So take the lessons from it, uh, but release the rest, okay? Don't be bitter, because it's over with, okay? You stood your ground, and I'm feeling like you came out on top, Virgo, okay? <clears throat> okay, um, especially because you got the king of swords, okay? You're smarter than that. <laughs> they tried it. <laughs> but they did not succeed, Virgo, okay? Because you knew better, right? Let's see what the <laughs> what the book says for this one. King of Swords. <clears throat> hang on, hang on, hang on, y'all. I'm coming, I'm coming. 
<laughs> okay, King of Swords. It says you enjoy a position of authority and high status. You are clear about your goals and needs. You feel you have the strength and intelligence to obtain what you want. You get things done with your self-confidence and determination. You employ strategy and cunning to get results. And that you do, Virgo. Okay. Sometimes Virgo can be a bit of a uh, perfectionist. But you know what? Y'all get things done. And you get it done right. Okay. Um, keywords are strength, intellect, discrimination, and professionalism. Okay, after a lot of hard work and mental effort, you have finally reached a point of security. Hey, hey, now. Um, excuse me. <clears throat> you are able to provide for others and enjoy being generous with your resources. Don't let disappointment or disapproval make you insecure. Being fair and just is your touchstone. I, I find that a lot of Virgos, or at least the ones that I've dealt with, um can be uh, very diplomatic um and that's a very um uh, that's a very good thing you know that's not an easy thing for everybody um to for every, for everybody to be um and maybe I'm a little bit biased okay my rising sign is Aries and I have a lot of Aries in my chart but the love of my life happens to be a Virgo okay so I might be a little bit biased there <laughs> All right, so then in your present position, we have memories of love, okay? Memories of love. And this can be any any type of love. Um, you might be feeling nostalgic, you know, about your childhood, um, about um, your parents, grandparents, um, loved ones that have passed on, who are no longer here with us in the physical realm, um, this could be an old job that you worked for many years. Some of my Virgos, you know, some of you could be retired. You know, you might be missing your old day-to-day, -day, um, routine a little bit for those of you who, you know, loved what you did. Um, um, I'm hearing it might be time to find a new, uh, passion, you know, as long as you're, um, living and breathing, you know, you have something to contribute, you know, and that's the thing that makes us thrive, um, besides learning and playing, like I, you know, always play, it never get too old to play, okay, um, that's the fountain of youth, that's the secret of, to staying young, okay, you gotta remember how to play. Um, I don't know where that came from, but okay, some of you Virgos might, might have needed to hear that, okay? But so we got memories of love in the present position, and that's being clarified by the Three of Pentacles and the Four of Wands, a very positive card. So I'm going to look at the book and we'll see how these cards uh, come together, see what it's saying. <coughs> Thank you for stopping by, Virgo. I'm finding in just a second. I want to look at this Memories of Love card. Because it can mean so many things, you know. And you, you, only you know how it resonates with you, you know. So, you know, y'all feel free to uh, comment down below how this resonates with you. But memories of love. You may find yourself walking down memory lane at this time. This nostalgic card could indicate that an old friend or acquaintance from the past may step back into your life. Or it could even resurrect loving images from days gone by. Does this person... Uh, these happy forgotten moments or those innocent childhood memories encourage you to recall and welcome the energy of love. Is there a message or lesson from these fond recollections that could benefit you in your present life? The number six card relates to support, dedication, unity, and a need for balance in the areas of emotions and love. Your heart and soul are asking you not to dwell in the past, but use the inspiration and joy from that time to assist you in the here and now, okay? 
So, you know, sometimes we can look back and say, oh, you know, those were the good old days. And, you know, our memory is selective a lot of times. And, you know, we remember. And, you know, it's nothing wrong with having fond memories. But a lot of times um, we can romanticize those memories. And, you know, we forget about, you know, the struggle that happened, you know, right before that fond memory or that might have been going on during, you know, so, but uh, it's important, it is important to take the good, you know, leave the, you leave the bad, but don't forget about it, you know, because that the past helped to make you who you are, you know. So let's see. So the three of pentacles, um, Let's see. Pentacles is earth energy. Virgo, you are earth. Um, earth has to do with, you know, the physical realm. Um, money, that sort of thing. But the three of pentacles specifically says, be prepared to show off your stuff and get noticed. You're going to have a chance to express yourself. Pitch your ideas and present your present your craftsmanship to very important parties. The work you do now to impress people in power will pay off in your future. Very positive card. This is a time of great opportunity and advancement. Okay, so that's what the Three of Pentacles. Great opportunity and advancement. Okay. Good deal. So we got you feeling nostalgic, um, but at the same time, you have some great opportunities for advancement coming ahead of you, Virgo. Let's see what else it says, okay? So uh, let's see. Uh, you have confidence in your work, and you should be very enthusiastic about your prospects. Creativity leads to great opportunity. Winning bids, landing contracts, and securing new business is highly likely, okay? Having faith in your abilities gives you a winning attitude and a leg up in your work. So, Virgo, you are very confident at this time. Uh, it sounds like you know what you're doing as far as work is concerned, okay? Go ahead now. Uh, keywords are success, hard work, getting noticed, and growth. Okay, awesome. And then the Four of Wands, how does that relate? Okay, how does the Four of Wands relate? Um, uh, to me, looking at the card, I see celebration. I see stability. Uh-oh, I didn't pass right by it, did I? Hold on. No, I didn't hear this. Okay, so check this card out, y'all. The Four of Wands. I see. Uh, this is the 1111 card, too. It's like manifestation. Um, I just saw that looking at it just now, but um, it speaks of stability and manifesting your dreams. Um, emotional fulfillment, fruitfulness, um, but I'm going to read from the book. Let's see what it says. Uh, da, 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 da. Four of Wands, weddings, family reunions, graduations. Oh, my. Ooh, somebody else just got this in their reading. Uh, I can't remember which sign it was. Maybe cancer. Uh, but it says, be prepared for jolly good times ahead. It's time to celebrate life, love, and the presence of happiness. So some of you guys are in a really happy place right now. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Um, it's time to celebrate. Okay. Passion and energy are reignited within the home and the bedroom. Hello. <laughs> All right now, Virgo. Don't hurt nobody. All right. Signs indicate springtime, which is a time of conception and fertility. Awesome. But if you are not trying to get pregnant, hello, Virgo and cross watchers. Okay. Listen carefully. If you are not, if you do not want to have any babies, okay, be careful in March. Okay. Hear me? All right. <laughs> Keywords are hope, promise, 
enthusiasm and creativity. All right, new beginnings, particularly in areas of home and family are blossoming. You have a newfound zest for life and enthusiasm An influx of youthfulness imbues your life. The social butterfly within you is ready to fly and the spirit of celebration prevails. Oh, I love the energy of this reading, y'all. Goodness gracious. All right. So in your outcomes, car, outcomes car, uh, position, we have prosperity begins. Wow. Virgo, you're in receiving mode, okay? Get in receiving mode. If you're not, you should be. Um, but prosperity begins. And prosperity doesn't just mean... Um, well, this is a material card. This is uh, this is earth energy, okay? Um, um, so there is the material uh, wealth that this card speaks of. But you see those hands there in the background? This is a, a blossoming, budding uh, relationship. So some of you Virgos have found love. You found that one um, that you want to be with. Congratulations, guys. Do I hear wedding bells? Maybe, maybe for some of you. Some of you will be uh, having some babies, okay? Some of you will be becoming parents. Some of you will be starting businesses. And they will thrive. They will blossom. Some of you are going through uh, uh, some uh, transformation, becoming um, more of who you truly are and expressing that to the world. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Great energy, guys. And clarifying the Prosperity Begins card, we have the moon. The moon card. The moon uh, to me, talks about like your shadow side. Um, it also talks about emotions or maybe um, repressed emotions coming to the surface. Um, let's see what the book says. All right, Virgo. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks again for tuning in. If this uh, reading is resonating with you thus far, please leave me a like, comment, and subscribe. Please leave me a comment, okay? I want to um, interact. Let me know what's going on. How does this reading resonate with you, okay? The moon card says there's a reason the term lunacy is derived from lunar. The moon indicates confusion and being swayed by outside influences when you should be doing what you know is right in your heart. Thankfully, the moon indicates you have a keen intuitive sense. It also indicates you have the wherewithal to do some honest soul searching. Dive deep into your emotional waters to establish insight and emotional stability. Don't be confused by what the world is doing. Instead, follow your instincts and make your dreams come true. The time to make that happen is now. The time is now. So the moon card says the time is now. Don't be confused by what the world is doing. Use your intuition. You have very strong intuition, Virgo. Tap into that and use it and make your dreams come true. Hey, now. Good stuff. Keywords are intuition. Uh, can be confusion, uh, persuasion, and right timing. The time is now. All right. So if you're thinking Virgo for some of my Virgos, and I did say, you know, I saw wedding bells for some of my Virgos out there. You know, if you're wondering if this is a good time, but the moon card is letting you know the time is now. Or if you were wondering if you should go ahead and start that business, yes, the time is now. Only you can can know how this resonates with you. I'm not telling you to go and propose or go uh, buy a new house. Um, you know, only you know how this reads for you. 
But whatever you were looking for confirmation on, Virgo, the time is now, okay? And at the bottom of the deck, we have passion ignited. You know what drives you. Your passion's already been ignited. So think about that. The time is now. All right. And on the bottom of the other deck, we have the emperor. Hmm. The emperor. That says you are very much in command of your destiny. Okay. The time is now. Whatever it is you were thinking about doing, um, don't let any of this old energy, you've already gotten past that. Don't start thinking about that again. That's over with, okay? Don't go reliving that. Let that go because the time is now. Hey, <laughs> you know, you, you, you know what you want. You've already decided, you know, you're in command. You're also going through a period of uh, transformation, you know. You're stepping into your kingsmanship. Look at all these kings. King of Swords, the Emperor. You are stepping into your power, okay? Step into your confidence and your power. No longer can this over here make you doubt yourself. You were shaking that loose. That's over with, okay? Whatever this was. All right? You are in command. You have stood your ground. Continue to stand your ground. Okay, Virgo? All right. The emperor. Authority. Okay? Let's see. So, for your advice, we um, I pulled from the Light Worker Oracle, and you got the Dark Angel. The Dark Angel. Sometimes, sometimes a Dark Angel is sent before us uh, to clear our path from obstructions and obstacles. You know, from the divine gifts from the divine. Let's see what the book says. Okay. Um, we also got right up under that is paradigm shift, which I feel a lot of my Virgos are going through a paradigm shift. Keep an open mind, Virgo. You'd be surprised. Things can happen as if by magic. Okay? Keep an open mind. All right, let's see what it says for the dark angel. The dark angel comes to you with a radical truth. Divine love is always there for you, without exception. Love will never forget you. It will never stop caring for you. Even when it seems most unlikely, in fact, especially then, the divine is reaching for you and nurturing you. Even our wounds are ways that we can discover love and divine grace through the healing process. The divine is always helping you remember who you are and find your true joy. When the dark angel appears, you are being given a gift of light. Even if it may be, even if it may seem to be a hidden blessing. A dark mystery is one that helps us learn that even if things don't seem to be working out according to the timing or methods that we believe necessary, the light and love of spirit are unfailing. If a door is closed in your face, it is the wrong door for you, Virgo. Divine love will ensure that the right door opens at the right time. So you have to believe in divine timing. In, in divine order. A good affirmation for you, Virgo, is uh, my life. Oh, what is that affirmation? Um, oh, here it is. Divine order 
is established in my mind, body, and affairs. Okay, that's a good affirmation to say. Divine order is established in my mind, body, and affairs. Write it somewhere. Put it in on a sticky note. Put it on your mirror in the bathroom. Every time you brush your teeth, you look at it. Your subconscious mind picks that up and you... You'll see. <laughs> Keep an open mind, Virgo. It works, believe me. All right, Virgo. So that is your reading. Your advice is to keep an open mind and know that you are loved and supported. Okay? You are loved and supported, Virgo. All right. That is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like, a share, and a subscribe. And hit that bell, you know, so you can know when I put out new stuff. And you can follow um, the other things I'll be doing. I'll probably be putting out some guided meditations eventually. Um, probably sooner than that, I'll put out, do some timeless pick-a-card readings. Uh, not necessarily based on astrology. Um, and those are those will be timeless. So whenever you run across those, um, they'll be uh, relevant. Uh, thanks again, guys, for tuning in to Deja View Divine Guidance. Love you guys. Peace.